Hello and welcome to VHP Dittons. And today we will review my scripts, number password generation on PHP and also on Python. Uh, I use Google Chrome. You could use any browser you want. I'm opening github.com. Padlong, uh, my scripts repository. As you can see, it contains uh, much more scripts uh, than only password generation, uh, but we will review them later. So let's start with password generation on PHP. And firstly, we will check version uh, get underscore random underscore password dot php so this let's review the script uh, random get underscore random underscore password dot php as you can see uh, it um, generates passwords random passwords with default plan of uh, 15 characters uh, and uh, it works on different uh, PHP versions. Uh, um, so it has a uh, few functions. Let's uh, execute it. As you can see, I have installed uh, PHP version 8.3 on my local machine. Uh, let's execute random password generator. As you can see, it generates uh, the random password with 15 characters if we do not specify a desired password line uh, so let's review the code as you can see uh, default len uh, in a variable and uh, if we are checking if uh, we specified argument len uh, in integer it generates desired uh, password len uh, in this example with 19 characters so uh, it works something like that so let's review the code as you can see uh, it uh, works uh, using the linux words txt file uh, which contains uh, linux uh, words dictionary uh, as you can see, it's a big text file. Uh, each line uh, contains one word. And uh, our random password generator uh, uses this, uh, those words uh, as a randomness uh, source. So uh, it uh, generates one by one uh, random characters. Uh, from the range of 0 to 9 uh, and also special characters uh, so uh, words uh, taken from Linux words randomly mixed with uh, the special characters and digits and uh, at the end we got a pretty random uh, values uh, which could be used for passwords and those uh, passwords are not predictable uh, because they don't rely on uh, uh, built-in random functions uh, inside PHP uh, they rather use uh, predefined big dictionary uh, which makes uh, passwords stronger uh, and I think uh, it's uh, one of the best approaches. We also have uh, get random password uh, underscore 8.2, uh, which uses new random randomizer module, uh, which works uh, on PHP 8.2 or newer. And uh, it has the same logic uh, as before. As you can see, it's uh, generate um, some kind of uh, password uh, which uh, version without 8.2 does uh, but it uses new built-in 
random randomizer uh, methods. So uh, if you have a newer PHP version, I think you should use uh, this uh, script to generate random passwords for you. So uh, it works something like that. Uh, it has uh, some functions uh, which uh, concatenate streaming uh, which is formed and then uh, we have a uh, random stream it is returned uh, to user and it could be used as a random password for you uh, those passwords are secure and uh, you could uh, be sure that you are using uh, real uh, good strong passwords which is uh, required uh, in the most cases uh, in the sake of security uh, for yourself so uh, if you have any questions to the code uh, please comment maybe uh, you can send some uh, pull requests if you have any idea how to improve uh, this functionality uh, but I think, uh, as for me, it's good enough uh, to generate uh, random passwords uh, for you, for yourself. <coughs> so, let's review the Python implementation uh, of the same random password generator. Uh, so, uh, it works uh, the same as the PHP version to execute it run uh, command in the terminal python3 uh, get underscore random underscore password dot pi as you can see we got 50 characters password generated and if you specify desired password length for example 17 characters it will mm, do so as you want uh, it does the same absolutely uh, so mm, if you mm, uh, it uses the same Linux uh, passwords txt, Vodix words txt file which is concatenated uh, but uh, in Python version I like it more because it's shorter but it does absolutely the same mm, thing which uh, PHP version do so you could use uh, any of them PHP or Python so uh, thank you for watching this video please comment and share it uh, let me know if you like the new format see you in the next videos bye bye